Hello there everyone, it's lovely to be with you in your home. How's uh, the start of coming out of lockdown going? Did you have a chance to maybe go and visit your gran or granddad? Or maybe someone else in your family? Or just a chance to go outside and, and play with a friend rather than staying just with your brother or sister? Or maybe on your own if you've not got any. It's quite, it's not much of a change but it is quite nice isn't it? One of the things I've been doing for a, quite a few weeks now, since I think the beginning of April, it started with every day I'd put a different cuddly toy in the window. So that was probably about seven and a half weeks. So I'll give you a chance if you want to work out how many toys that is that might have been. Yes, they were all different. And then once I'd went round the house and checked that I had put every single one for their day in the window so that other people could come and see as they went for their daily walk or cycle, I thought I would put piece by piece all the bits of a knitted Noah's Ark set that I was given a few years ago. So I started with the Ark itself, which is really just a, a boat. And then I added Noah the next day, and then his wife the next day. And then every other day since then, I've put out the animals in twos because in the story of Noah, which is in the Bible, Noah's asked by God to build a boat and onto that boat he's to take two of every kind of animal from snakes that slither to lions and tigers. So I've, I've put out toucans and owls and, and chickens and, and various other animals you'll see in part of this video. And once they were all in the ark it started to rain and it kept raining and it kept raining. Now this wasn't a Scottish summer, this was probably the Middle East where incessant rain was in common and it rained, we're told in the Bible, for 40 days or a very long time. And the waters rose and the only living things that they could see that were still alive were those who were in the ark, that special boat. And after 40 days it stopped raining, but they still couldn't see dry land. And they stayed on the ark for a bit longer. In some ways it's a bit like lockdown, isn't it? And then, after a while no, of no rain, Noah thought, maybe some land has started to dry up. So, he sent off a raven, because ravens are birds, and it flew away and came back quite quickly. And Noah thought, well, maybe there isn't any dry land yet, or anything that's safe for the bird to go to. And then a few days later, he sent the raven off again and the raven didn't reappear and it was thought that maybe it had found dry land. But just to check, Noah sent a dove out and the dove went and came back to Noah and the ark with an olive or a bit of olive tree in its beak. Maybe a leaf or something. And even today, in many religions, the dove with a leaf in its mouth is a sign of peace and hope. And it comes from that story of Noah. Because with it coming back with a leaf in its mouth, it showed that the land had started to dry off up enough that the trees were starting to come into leaf again and the land but go back to normal. But in the story of Noah, and this is the most famous bit, I think, alongside the animals two by two, 
God put a rainbow in the sky. So I've got a knitted rainbow. Yeah, I have a knitted rainbow. And in the story of Noah, God says to Noah, this is a promise that God makes to the whole world, not just to Noah, to every human being and to every living creature in the world. That God will never, will look after the world, cares for the world, cares for you and I. And that doesn't matter if you believe that or not, I do. And cares for all the creatures and, and all the living things in the world. And it's a sign of hope and promise that God gives. And even today, we still use the rainbow, don't we? I'm sure many of you have put pictures of rainbows in your windows during lockdown to give hope to people that come past your house and to say thank you to the NHS and other key workers for all these hard work they ha they're doing to keep you and I safe and fed and all the things that we need. So that's the story of Noah, the story of the rainbow. We might know the real reason that no rainbows come now, but it's still nice to have that sign of hope, isn't it? It's been nice speaking to you again, and I hope to speak to you again soon. Bye.